What is going on YouTube? Dick Turpin here. Gonna be playing some Civilization today. Um gonna be doing a single player game. A massive one of plans to make this quite a long series. So uh gonna be Russia. Uh, they have quite a few good bonuses. I don't like what they uh, their bonuses are. Gonna be playing on a Earth map that expands the entire planet. Map size is gonna be huge. Tall flyers are twenty four stages, but I plan to increase that. Uh, difficulty I'm going to play in a king. Hard, oh, the AI receives more advantages to improve their play. Game pace marathon, this extreme, this is extremely long speed. What do I need? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're going to do an advanced. I'm going to add in uh, 18 factions, 28 city states. I picked these five. Uh, gonna just have domination because the AI can just win in stupid ways sometimes. And these are our game options. So let's start the game. This is sort of just left off. Uh, so let's just get to it. Greetings upon thee, Your Imperial Majesty Catherine, wondrous Empress of all the Russia. At your command lies the largest country in the world. Mighty Russia stretches from the Pacific Ocean in the east to the Baltic Sea in the west. Despite wars, droughts, and every manner of disaster, the heroic Russian people survive and prosper. Their artists and scientists among the best in the world. The empire today remains one of the strongest ever seen in human history. A true superpower with the greatest destructive force ever devised at her command. Catherine, your people look to you to bring forth glorious days for Russia and her people to revitalize the land and recapture the wonder of the Enlightenment. Will you lead your people once more into greatness? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? So, our bonus is Siberian Riches, Strategic Resources provide plus one production, and Horse, Iron, and Uranium Resources provide double quantity, and our special unit is the Cossack. Mounted units, mounted unit of the Renaissance area, capable of fighting toe to toe with contemporary infantry units, weak against other mounted units. Only the Russians may build it. This has a combat bonus when fighting enemies that have already taken damage. And our special building is the cre the Krepost. I think that's just the barracks. Fifteen percent, uh, fifteen experience to, for all units, culture and gold. Cost of inquiry, new tiles this recruit reduced by twenty five percent. So, we've already started next to a faction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> well, we got a worker. We'll find our city here. Can I can I find oh. Well they can't do anything yet, so oh, no, it's because of my warrior. Uh my warrior into this city. That was <laughs> something. Let's choose our production. <laughs> choose our production. We'll get a we'll build a warrior because scouts are pretty useless. Uh yeah, I did meet a city state. I crushed them instantly. Uh we'll get uh, we'll get pottery first, so we can, maybe we can start making that silk. You have met a city state which you have just destroyed, so <laughs> I've never had that happen before. So we got a worker straight away. I mean, I'm not going to let that city state just survive. Might as well have just taken them out. So. <coughs> We'll get our worker to build farms. If they can't, I don't even know if you can build farms yet. You've stole a worker. Uh, no, you can build farms. We'll put a farm here then. <laughs> that was pretty. That was pretty crazy. Uh, I'll probably cut this bit out now because we're just going to be waiting for our warriors to build enough our workers to finish the farm. So once that's done, we'll be back. See you in a minute. Bye. مرحبا أيها العجمي أنا هارون الرشيد خليفة العرب هلما إلي وحدثني عن إمبراطوريتك. So we are back. Uh, farms still being built, uh, but uh, the Ar the Arabians have just found us. 
Welcome, I am Harim Al Rashid of the Arabian people. Come, let us admire the sub the sub the sub yeah, I don't know whatever there that says of my palace. <laughs> so we're gonna keep building our farm, and I'll be back in a bit. See you. So we are back. Jesus, that took a long. T that took like ten turns to make that one farm. <laughs> so we'll move here and we'll find out what else we can build. We can build another farm! They take 20 turns. Uh, I might just build another farm here. Uh, yeah, we'll build another farm and we'll be back again. See ya. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Im Namen des großen deutschen Volkes heiße ich euch willkommen. So, uh, the Germans have just found us. I'm still building that damn farm. <laughs> so, we found the Arabians and the Germans so far. I'm guessing that every faction is probably going to find us by the time this farm's built. So, I'm going to cut this out again. So, I'll be back in a bit. See ya. Okay, so we're back. Our warrior is done. Took us for ages, but it's done now, so we're going to start doing stuff. Um, um, I'm thinking of building the monument. Just so we can spread our growth and expand our borders. Can I just now have this gone and explore? Yeah. So I'm just going to have this warrior on explore, and when something interesting happens, we shall come back. Shall the clay say to him that fashion of the... Oh. Looks like I'm not going to cut that. <clears throat> so our pottery is done, allows your cities to build the granary which provides food, helping your cities grow larger. So we shall do, I think, archery, no, um, uh, we'll do archery just to get our military might up a bit, because archers are really powerful. Well, in these early stages they can help out quite a bit so we'll build the archer and then we'll just keep exploring with our warrior up there and we'll be back again <sighs> it's going to be a lot of waiting and cutting see ya <laughs> We've met Edinburgh, yay! Oh, good old Edinburgh, the city state of Edinburgh. So, we've actually found someone. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna follow my warrior around, and see what happens. So you just walk in there. I'm probably gonna get pissed off by that. Get out, yes, good boys. Get out. I hope we find some ruins, that'd be good. Oh, we found a barbarian camp. But we won't attack, so we'll lose. I hope they don't attack on all my id, on explore, even. That would be annoying. Oh, what are they doing? <sighs> My union's probably gonna die. No, it's good. 
It's all good. Uh, let us plant the seeds of a bright future by making a declaration of friendship to the world. What say you? Yes, let us work together. So we are now friends with the Arabians. So good. So good, good. <coughs> See, and I don't know if being friends with them is like an alliance. I'm not massively sure. Hopefully that warrior unit attacks us while we're on this hill. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna go where they go, so we can get sandwiched in between them and... <laughs> Who's gonna die? It looks like my men are gonna die. Nope. It was even. Nope. I lost more men. God damn assholes. <sighs> but there's nowhere I can go without getting attacked. So we'll go back to the hill. Oh, well, work is done. Um... Am I take him over here? Can I build rods yet? No, I don't know yet. I feel I can't build rods yet. <sighs> so, oh man, got. We did fair a bit better actually that time. So we can't do anything there, so uh, I'm just going to make my unit sleep. Because we can't really do anything, because we've got to uh, work so early. <laughs> Thanks to my city, those city-state friends for kindly giving us their city and their worker. Oh they're going to die! God damn it! Assholes. It took me ages to make that. God damn you. Basically, I'm never having my men on Auto Explorer anymore. God damn. God damn it. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, so, we. Uh, barbarian boat has just rolled up on our city, so. Gonna have a bit of combat. We can actually do an arranged attack from our city to the boat, so let's do that. Four damage, that's all good. Guess it softens up the blow that we had to our men. The poor bastards. But you know, the AI are pretty stupid. When you have them on it, oh, I explore, I should have known that. I will do it myself from now on. <laughs> Okay, so we can do another ranged attack on the same boat. Just come back for a bit more. So we're going to attack it again. We'll hopefully sink it. Nope. <laughs> Not today, friend. Alright then, so. Let's keep ending the turn. I do like the ranged combat you can do from the cities now. The enemy is near. Can we do another ranged attack? Yes, we can. So we'll do another ranged attack. Hopefully, sink it. No, nope, not yet. <laughs> Hopefully, it will come back though. It's probably not. It's probably going to keep going that way. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. So, our archery research is done. Allows you to build the archer, the first range unit in the game. Which, as I said, is a really good unit to have early on. Because it can just make you quite powerful. Uh, we're going to be going for animal husbandry. So we can get horses and capture animals. So let's do that. Um, there's nothing really else we can do. So, I'm going to cut it here again. 
because we're just going to rewind for a few more turns and then I'll be back. Goddamn Bolt is back again. <laughs> so hopefully we'll sink this boat this time because I'm getting sick of him coming. Yep, there we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Asshole. What a dumbass. But that's probably one of the better features of Civ 5 is the. Like, stick, having to do range damage from afar now. Because on the old ones, you have to have your archer right in front of them or in the stack. And they'd always end up getting killed. But now you can have them beyond your men. They're actually useful. Apart from using them to defend cities, they're actually quite good in the attack now. So we're going to wait for our mono, uh, monument to be constructed. And we are going to build a settler. And we're going to have to wait a while again. There's going to be a lot of waiting in these early parts of the games. So don't just assume that it's going to be <laughs> cutting every episode. I think after the first couple of episodes will be established and we'll be able to do things a lot easier. So I'll be back again in a bit. See ya. Okay, so we are back. Um... I was looking in the options and I realised that the graphics were really low for some reason. So hopefully this looks a lot better now. It look, it, it's running a lot smoother as well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going with our. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna wait for our settler to build, and then we'll uh, continue playing on. So I'll be back in a bit. No, oh, wait, no, I won't, because we can now adopt a policy. So we should adopt a policy. I'm thinking Liberty, because it allows for rapid expansion. I don't want to get quite big, quite big, big, quite big, big, quite quickly. And then we've got Honor. I'll probably go down the Honor route next. Uh, I'll probably get this one, and then we'll see what, we'll see what happens when it comes to that. So, uh, in my turn, if nothing happens this next turn, we'll have a cut. Uh, so nothing's happened, so I'm going to cut here, and see you in a bit. Okay, so uh got another barbarian boat here, so we're going to take this guy out, hopefully pretty quickly. It took a bit longer than last time. And we did two damage, so we're going to be here for a while, so we'll wait and see what happens. I have the least gold. Worst player ever. Two damage. So we're probably gonna go away and then we'll just continue on. So animal husbandry is done, allows workers to construct pastures on cows and sheep, also reveals horses which are used to build powerful mountain units, which is all good. You've discovered Oh look at that. Horse right in there, flat right in that location. Uh we'll do mining next, just because it's the the quickest one to do. Uh, and I probably will build a pasture. No. Do I have to put a thing on my horse? We'll find out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. So we'll build a pasture to get the cows. Hopefully it won't yeah, destroy my farm, <laughs> so fuck it. We'll don't have a real we'll just put one next to there or something. So I'm gonna let this farm farm pasture be built and we'll be back. No we won't, because there's a, another boat there. Damn boats.
so I'll end my time. I don't think he'll come back. If he does, then he's a dumbass. Nope, he's not back. So, see in a bit. Okay, so we are back again, just quickly. We can adopt a new policy again, so I'm gonna do this one that lets the workers adopt become 50%. Oh, actually, we get set straight away. Shit. <laughs> Um, uh, don't know whether to cancel this one or buy a work nine. I think what we'll do is we'll marble. I'll take the warrior out of this city and we'll move up here. Uh, you always want your cities a couple of tiles away, it's free. So, yeah, here will be perfectly fine. That's where I want it. So we'll move our city there, settle it, and then I'll have my workers build roads to the city. <gasps> Pardon me, sorry. Being a little bit queasy at the moment. But I didn't know you actually got a settler from adopting that policy. But that's 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 fantastic. <laughs> So we'll settle settle here. St. Petersburg. And then we'll move our warrior into there. <coughs> and we can choose a production here. We shall choose what shall we choose? We'll choose the art shell. Although it'll take ages, but something to build whilst we're just waiting. Okay then, so uh <coughs> I'm gonna cut here again. There's going to be a lot of cutting, as I said earlier, in these early parts of the game, just because a lot. I don't, I don't think you want to be sitting here just watching me click this button all the time. So I'm just going to cut it here, and we'll be back in a bit. We'll probably be back in five turns once this settles done. So see you in a bit. The meat shall be healthy, but not its mineral rights. Uh, so our mining research is now done, allows workers to construct mines to increase the production of map tiles and chop forests today in the construction of other improvements, which is good because we've got quite a few forests around here. So we're going to choose a new research, and I think we'll choose the calendar because we've got quite a uh, silk piles, it requires masonry, do you get masonry from? Well you get masonry from masonry of course, because I'm a derp. <laughs> so we'll do this. I'm pretty sure the silk, three gold, two gold production. Yeah, uh, we we'll do calendar, and then wait for our settlers to be created. I'm thinking of settling a city here, or maybe either in hmm, I don't want to send the settler off just yet, so I'm going to make it sleep for now, and I want to choose a. Uh, we'll build an archer here so they can go with the settler. So, nothing else should pop on. Alright then, uh, I'm going to cut here and we'll be back in a bit. See ya. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> the archer's done. I've got my workers building a farm area off screen. Uh, Moscow's expanded and St. Petersburg expanded. Uh, the Bismarck. It's declared friendship with me, and we had a boat here that we attacked, and then it went. I didn't feel the need to show that though. So, I'm gonna move my shit. I don't know where to move my. I'm thinking moving my set of the. Not right. Right up here. Uh, just because after a while, St. Petersburg's gonna expand most of this. So, I think it'd be better if we get right up here. So, we're going to choose a new production in Moscow. Uh, we'll build a granary for now. And we'll keep moving our men up here. <coughs> yeah, so what I, I plan to, I have a rule that I build my cities 
either three or four tiles away from the other cities. See, if you have like another city here, it's just pointless because it's never going to expand any further, really. So it's just better to move it to that bit. Nope. So we'll move our unit there, and then we'll uh, <coughs> settle that and have our archers defend the city because that city probably will be attacked by um, barbarians and such. <coughs> And then I think if I get another set of I'll head over here if there's anything, but I have a feeling that it's just coast and mountains. I do like the fact that I'm on a mountain range here, because this, this whole flank is practically protected. I mean, like a valley almost, which is great. So we'll move our units here again, and then <coughs> we'll settle them. My calendar's almost done. I'm thinking after the calendar we'll do either bronze making or the wheel because I do want to get the rods to make for my cities and units more efficient. So we'll do that. Okay, so we're going to set our unit. Uh, I can't set all my hit to the goddamn borders. Um, four tiles from a border. Or maybe I will set it up here then. Oh shit! That's not good. Well... Um Oh man this sucks. <laughs> Is it gotta be from the border? Or can it just is it from the actual city? No, it's from the city then. Uh well, alright then we'll set our right city here. Yes, yes, your people are douchebags. So we'll have our city, and then we can just bombard this barbarian camp. Hopefully they'll come after us. Um, can I buy that tile? How much, is that? How much gold do we have? 500. Uh, I'm going to buy this tile, so we can just connect our lands. See, so like, you can buy tiles, and I'll show you again. So I can buy all these lands here and not have to settle settlers on it, but it does cost a lot. I don't have a lot of gold at the moment. And my people aren't happy. Cities will grow on, but... Unhappiness from all sources. 5.4 generated from number of cities. I may build this all up off camera and then start in the next episode when we actually start doing more interesting stuff so hope you've enjoyed this episode stay tuned for more bye bye